How's it going everyone? My name is Potato and welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video. Today we're going to be going over, covering, talking about, and discussing everything you need to know about the Hydra fighter jet that's going to be making its debut appearance in Grand Theft Auto Online with the, with the release of Heist, excuse me, on March 10th, 2015, which is less than 8 days away now. So if you guys are excited for this, I would definitely encourage you to leave a like if we could go for 300 likes for the final release of Heists. That would be awesome if we've already reached that goal. Be sure to leave a like anyway. Subscribe if you are new around here. And check out some of my social media links down below. Twitter, Instagram, etc. That would be awesome as well. And without further ado, let's actually go ahead and get started with the video. So, the Hydra is a Harrier. We know that for a fact, of course. And if you don't know what I mean by that, it's a VTOL, or it has VTOL capabilities. Basically, it's it, VTOL stands for Vertical Takeoff and Landing, I believe. Don't... Don't don't take my word on that, but I, it's something along those lines. So, basically, with the Hydra, what you're able to do and what sets this aside from any of the other uh, aircraft and jets in Grand Theft Auto 5 and the Grand Theft Auto series is the fact that you can actually take off vertically with this jet and you can hover with it and you can essentially use it like a helicopter in a way if you guys kind of get the gist of what I'm saying. So it, it can hover of course which is a freaking awesome feature and like I said that's what sets it apart from everything else uh, aircraft wise in the game. Now the Hydra actually first appeared in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas and I got some gameplay of that in the background for you guys to check out just to kind of give you an idea of what the Hydra is going to be like if you guys never played San Andreas and got to fly the Hydra. So uh, overall it's a really really cool uh, air vehicle and it's going to be awesome. It's got or it's equipped with two missiles on each side. You can fire them back and forth. So uh, that's going to be really cool. It's really easy to fly, very lightweight and very fast. So it's going to be something awesome to have in Grand Theft Auto 5 now. So uh, next, the Hydra was actually cut from Grand Theft Auto 5 before the initial release, and we know this due to the fact that in one of the early trailers that was released before Grand Theft Auto 5 came out. We see the Hydra actually in this trailer, and I got the image up here on the screen for you guys to check out. So, that's very interesting why Rockstar actually removed it from the game is a mystery, but it was uh, it was replaced with the P996 laser, so that's an interesting fact. Now, the Hydra can also be seen in-game on a TV show called Cunning Stunt Academy, and there's just a little, like, one second clip uh, of the Hydra actually in game as well as there's various other and we for a perfect example excuse me getting off topic here is uh, there's another movie trailer actually at the movie theaters in GTA 5 where it shows off the hunter attack helicopter that I believe we're going to be getting in Grand Theft Auto 5 sometime and that's been uh, kind of leaked throughout uh, GTA 5's history uh, there's been a lot of leaks concerning and revolving around the hunter uh, attack helicopter so that's really interesting as well now back on topic of the Hydra we have a screenshot of it actually from uh, the the heist trailer that was released back in December 2014 of this on the aircraft carrier uh, along with many other Hydras so that leads me to believe that the Hydra uh, a very uh, prominent location of course for this is going to be on the aircraft carrier and probably it's going to be spawning in at Fort Zancudo as well that would be awesome if it was, and also, my, I, I'm guessing, and hopefully this is right, fingers crossed, we're going to be able to actually purchase this uh, from one of the in-game websites to have in our own hangar and fly around. I think that would be awesome just to have the, the, the Hydra, uh, just a phone call away from getting and things like that. I think that would be very cool. Now, it would probably cost you a couple million dollars, but uh, I think it would be well worth the price. So... Uh, that's really just about it for the Hydra and what we can kind of expect it to be like and what it's going to be like overall in Grand Theft Auto 5 when it's finally released next week on March 10th. So if you guys did enjoy the video, of course, definitely be sure to leave a like if we could go for 300 likes. That would be awesome. Uh, if you could click that subscribe button, that'd be greatly appreciated as well. We are on the road to 100,000 subscribers. And like I said before, my Twitter and Instagram links are down below if you guys want to follow me on there. Currently on the road to 1,000 Instagram followers and 10,000 Twitter followers. So if you guys have any sort of questions, leave a comment down below or tweet at me. Uh, everything is down there where it needs to be. And with all that said now the way, thank you guys so much for watching. You all take it easy, have a safe one, and I will talk to you later. Bye.